happy that Bob and Alan are reunited. I just worry Bob might have a bit of a taste for it. it might go to Bob's head <laughs> oh, no. after a sequel. No, I think Bob just needs to stay at home now. Next step, Australia. <laughs> Bob no. too. Uh, it's 6.28. Let's get the news, the travel and weather where you are. We'll see you in a second. <laughs> Boradar, good morning. Today is the deadline set by Wales' rugby players to reach an agreement on the shape of contracts for next year. Wales are due to play England and the Six Nations on Saturday, but whether the game goes ahead is in doubt, with the national squad members warning they might refuse to play if there's no settlement. Head coach Warren Gatlin says he's confident the game will go ahead, despite not naming his team yet. Helping others is playing an important role in protecting and improving mental well-being. That's according to a survey by Public Health Wales. The results of their pilot will be used to help inform public policy. 19-year-old Maddie Davis suffers with chronic fatigue syndrome. As a result, she's missed a lot of school and became quite isolated. But she says volunteering has given her a sense of self-worth. Coming in and knowing that I'm, I work with the same group of people every day, and they're all absolutely wonderful, has really helped my social anxiety. It's a safe space where, you know, you can trust the people there um, and, you know, you just talk about whatever you want to talk about. Online child sexual abuse crime has increased by 43% in the last five years in Wales. The figures follow freedom of information requests by the NSPCC to all four Welsh police forces. Just over 2,000 crimes involving the possession and sharing of indecent images of children online were recorded between 2021 and 2022, an increase from around 1,400 in 2017. In Wales, in the last five years, we've seen a 43% increase in these child image abuse offences, which is incredibly alarming. It shows that platforms have not taken the increase in these crimes seriously enough, and they must prioritise children's safety on their platforms and act now so that we don't continue to see an increase in these offences. Football now and in the Championship, Swansea City lost 3-1 at home to Stoke. In League 2, Newport County won 1-0 away at Hartlepool to move up to 16th. And in the National League, Wrexham beat Scunthorpe 2-0. Time for a look at the weather. Sabrina's here. How's it looking? Good morning, Gaul. Well, over the next 24 hours, it will be on the wet side at times. Temperatures back down below average. And then from tomorrow onwards through the weekend, more in the way of finer settled conditions. So to start the day then, we do have some outbreaks of rain around. They will clear eastwards through this morning. Plenty of low cloud around too, together with some patchy mist and fog. Once the rain does clear, we're then left with a rash of showers. Some of these will be on the frequent and heavy side with a wintry flavour to them over higher ground. Some sunny spells coming through these best in parts of the east and later north. A freshen in northwesterly breeze and today's highs 7 to 10 Celsius. Further showers tonight again some wintry over the higher ground so over these higher elevations we could see a centimeter or two of snow accumulates come the end of the night still cold enough for inland areas to see the chance for a touch of frost and a few icy stretches and tomorrow looks largely fine lily thanks sabrina that's all for now we'll have your next update at five to seven until then take care bye bye Good morning, this is Breakfast with John Kay and Sally Nugent. Hello, good morning. Just after half past six, coming up here on Breakfast this morning, we're going to be joined by Dr Malcolm Russell. You might remember him. He's from the UK International Search and Rescue Team. Uh, he spoke to us last week from Turkey. He's just got home after helping the victims of the catastrophic earthquakes there. And he's got some incredible footage to show us. The average person uses more than 123 million words in their lifetime, but... What if you could only say 140 words every day? That's the subject of a new play starring Aidan Turner and Jenna Coleman. They'll be here to tell us more at 10 to 9. And this is interesting. The animation studio Aardman, best known, of course, for Wallace and Gromit, they've worked with Save the Children to create a new film which is about refugee families fleeing the conflict in Ukraine. We're going to speak to the charity's ambassadors, Dom Jolly and Natasha Kaplinsky, here on Breakfast just after 9. Now, as we have been telling you this morning, Asda and Morrisons have introduced restrictions on the amount of fruit and vegetables you can buy after a shortage in some products, including salad,